and cut the phone lines contain the spread of misinformation. What? That happened? Lock them in. Great idea. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to start a new limited series. Okay. This one's from HBO. It's called Chernobyl. It's only about five episodes. It's five hours. So it should be a quick run. But it's also one of the best limited series shows in the last 20 years. A lot of people Ooh. consider this high quality, award winning media. Lots some hype. Yeah. So, uh, what do you know about Chernobyl? I know that it was some sort of nuclear power plant malfunction mm -hmm. in a foreign country. Yeah. That's all in, I know. In Russia. Russia. Okay. Yeah. It killed lots of people. Lots of people. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Had to quarantine the whole area and. Yeah, lots like of people that. with, like, radiation poisoning, stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's going to be intense. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and check it out? Yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. Watch Chernobyl with us. This video is brought to you by The Coldest Water. Check it out, thecoldestwater.com. Use code YMTM. Go get yourself a nice mug, a water bottle, a tumbler, a koozie, whatever you like. they got a bunch of stuff to keep your drinks cold at thecoldestwater.com. Use code YMTM. Also, we have a Patreon if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Let's watch Chernobyl. Ooh. What is the cost of lies? It's not that we'll mistake them for the truth. The real danger is that if we hear enough lies, then we no longer recognize the truth at all. What else is left but to abandon even the hope of truth and content ourselves instead with stories. In this story, it was Anatoly Dyatlov. He was the best choice. An arrogant, unpleasant man. He ran the room that night. He gave the orders. The man doesn't deserve prison. He deserves death. What does matter is that to them, justice was done. A just world is a sane world. There was nothing sane about Chernobyl. Well, I've given you everything I know. I'll deny it, of course. They always do. I know you'll try your best. Podcasting was a lot different back then. a lot of mixtapes. You're just taking out the trash. Compost. You got a lot of cats. Making sure his cat had some food. Yeah, for a few days. emergency everyone stay calm our first priority it exploded we know i came off what we're calling the reactor core we shut it down but the control rods are still hurting to get the backup pumps running we need water moving through the core that is all that matters there is no core it exploded the core exploded he's in shock get him out of here the lid is off core. what about the fire call the fire brigade
He's like, hmm, that looks weird. He's like, mm, that doesn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't look right. The color. Product says he thinks they're shining floodlights or something. And what if they're chemicals? <laughs> Not chemicals. The problem is a roof. This is covered in tar, so it's going to burn all night and it'll stink like hell. But there, that's the worst of it. Oh, that does not look good. Is it warm? Where's the decimeter? Here. Yeah, to get out of there. Oh, sh. I dropped the control rods from the other panel. They're still up. What? They're still only a third of the way in. I don't know why. They already sent the trainees down to the reactor hall to lower them by hand. Get down there and make sure those pumps are on. Now. What does the decimeter say? Uh, 3.6 Ronken, but that's as high as the meter. 3.6. Not great, not terrible. This high as it goes. <laughs> so no, pretty f***ing terrible. <laughs> Silly. Oh, for silly. What's this? I don't know, Misha. Don't f around with it. Put these off, man. It's the core of the reactor. You taste metal. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. The valve, Misha. The valve. Let's go. The valve, come on. What do you think he's thinking? <laughs> oh, sh what did we walk into here, right? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Jeez. Yeah, it's melting your body from the inside out, right? Like, holy God. The pressure of holding that door is just like his insides were turning to mush on him. Just touching the door. Yeah. Do this, definitely. Scott, I looked right into it. I looked into the core. Did you lower the control rods or not? What the f are you not understanding here? He's delusional. His face. Ruptured condenser lines. The feed water is mildly contaminated. It'll be fine. I've seen worse. But well, I don't know if I can make things better for you. But I can certainly make them worse. Who is this asshole? This comrade Yato. <sighs> you know, I once went two days without sleep. Ten women went into labor at the same time. Can I tell you that story? Yes. <laughs> I have a feeling he tells everyone that story multiple times. That's his big story. Who stock iodine? Hmm? Iodine. You mean disinfectant? No, pills. Does the hospital stock iodine pills? Iodine pills? Why would we have iodine pills? Radiation poisoning. To the lead line bunker. Tell me what happened quickly. We ran the test exactly as Chief Engineer Fermin approved. Encountered technical difficulties leading to an accumulation of hydrogen in the control system tank. It regrettably ignited, damaging the plant, setting the roof on fire. 
reactor? We're taking measures to ensure a steady flow of water through the core. What about radiation? Obviously, down here is nothing but in the reactor building, I'm being told. 3.6 Rungan per hour. Well, that's not great, but it's not horrifying. Not at all. From the feed water, I assume. Mm-hmm. This is horrifying, right? Have them use a good meter from the safe. <sighs> right. Yes, have them use the good meter. Good God. How high do you think it really is? I have no idea. I have no idea what bad is. Oh, it is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Radioactive ash. already eating away his face. What about the auxiliary? Pumps are gone. The electrical's gone. The core? I didn't go in there and I won't. I think it's time we fight. No, we have to get water into the core, otherwise there'll be a meltdown. We have to open the valves. You've had like three people tell you there is no core. Watch the panel while we're gone. They don't have any sort of like radio active suits or something, like anything to protect themselves. Sitnikov. Prakanov wants us to use a good decimeter, but it's in a safe and we can't find a key. It's in building two. Has it follow me? Of course the day shift guys know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's where everything is. Um, as you can see, we have experienced an accident, a large Control tank malfunction, damaging reactor building four and starting a fire. Now, I have spoken directly to Deputy... I think that guy knew. He knew that the core was blown. And he's lying so that he can get in this lead-lined room where he's... Safe. Safe. First, the accident is well under control. Right? Because he was, like, walking to check things out and then, like, Conveniently never checked anything out and just went back to where he was. There's mild radiation, but it's limited to the plant itself. No, it isn't. Excuse me. You saw men outside vomiting. You saw men with burns. There's more radiation than they're saying. I say we evacuate the town. Gentlemen, please. Do you think I would keep it in Pripyat if it wasn't safe? But the air is glowing. The Cherenkov effect, completely normal phenomenon, can happen with minimal radiation. And leave matters of the state to the state. We seal off the city. No one leaves. And cut the phone lines. Contain the spread of misinformation. What? That happened? Lock them in. Great idea. We will all be rewarded for what we do here tonight. This is our moment to shine. A bunch of them are going to be glowing soon. Oh, boy. I had no idea. The information they got is misinformation. Yeah. The large decimeter from the safe, the one with the thousand runken capacity. What was the number? There was none. The meter burned out the second it was turned on. Well, we found another decimeter from the military fire department. It only goes to 200 runken, but it's better than the small ones. And? It maxed out. 200 runken. I walked around the exterior of building four. 
I think there's graphite on the ground in the rubble. You didn't see graphite. You did too. You're a nuclear engineer, so am I. Now please tell me how an RBMK reactor core explodes. I don't see how it could explode. But it did. Enough. I'll go up to the vent block roof from there. You can look right down into reactor building four. I'll see it with my own... my own eyes. But... <coughs> I apologize. Guards! Guards! That's right. It's just his lunch. Not sitting well with him. That's what he'd say. Yeah, it couldn't be extreme radiation poisoning. Go to the Ben Block roof and report back what you see. No. That's a death sentence. No, I won't do that. Of course you will. You'll be fine. You'll see. Come on. He doesn't feel so good. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry for. I told you. We did nothing wrong. But we did. How is he going to report back when he dies? Before he can report back. Still don't believe him? Yeah, they're still just yelling at him about how it's not possible. Yes, I see. Any contamination? That's mild. The plant manager, Bruchanov, is reporting 3.6 Rontgen per hour. That's actually significant. You should evacuate the surround. You're an expert on RBMK reactors, correct? He's like, 3.6 is bad. We shouldn't <laughs> evacuate. Max out 200. Perfect. You're on this committee to answer direct questions about the function of an RBMK reactor, if they should happen to arise. Nothing else. Certainly not policy. Do you understand? Yes, of course. I didn't mean to... Well, the, the one that goes up to a thousand burned out. Do you think it's actually uh, above a thousand? Must be, right? How do you stop it? Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Yeah. I don't know enough about this to have been mentally prepared for <laughs> the shit that's going down right now. Yeah. That whole town's gonna die. Everybody in that town's gonna I think so. Or have extreme issue oh gosh, all of the kids. Oh my gosh. It's horrifying. Yeah. And it happened. It happened. Yeah. Horrifying. Yeah. In my lifetime. Yeah, it was just before I was born, so I missed it. <laughs> I, that's probably why I don't know anything about it. Yeah. So. Oof. What are you hoping we learn over the next couple episodes? I mean, I know we're going to learn how bad people f*** up, <laughs> right? And 
gosh, aren't you just, I mean, hopeful that we can all learn from the mistakes of others, unfortunately. Yeah. Not have like that happen. Yeah. Now. So that one scientist doesn't even know how a core could explode. Right. Yeah, nuclear engineers. Like, I don't even, that's not even possible. The other one's like, it's not possible. And yet there, it's happened. Yeah. So how do you stop it? You know, like, how do you stop a core explosion? Like, how do you, I, I don't, I uh, it's not not even a meltdown. It's no, you can't. It's already. It's like beyond a meltdown instantly. Right. Now one guy expert in nuclear power. Yeah. Three point six. You should evacuate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. And that was the guy that. Yeah. Was recording himself before. Right. Hmm. Yeah. The head head guy that was saying, "Oh, it's fine. The cork can't explode. Just put more water in it." Yeah. That's infuriating yeah. to me. Just bury your head in the sand. Yeah. And send people to their death. Right. Lots of people. Yeah. yeah. Well, what should people comment on? Nothing to comment on. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Feelings. Yeah. If you know anything about uh, radiation levels, what? obviously zero is fine. What do they got to get it down to kind of thing? Maybe let us know that in the comments. Yeah, at that point, though, I don't even feel like iodine pills would yeah. <laughs> would help with those sorts of levels. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Anything else on your mind? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out and uh, sticking with us through this five-episode miniseries yeah. that is going to be gut-wrenching. Terrifying. Till next time, have a good one. Bye. Should we do this for what? Four hundred rubles. And a promotion. And a promotion. Don't forget that part. Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more Chernobyl. All right. And do you remember what terrifying events were happening last time we watched? Oh uh, yeah, horrible. Big blow it blow up yeah. of a nuclear power plant. <laughs> Real life. Great. Yeah. More terrifyingness coming, I'm guessing. All the fish are gonna have three eyeballs. As well as the humans, yeah. Yeah, maybe. So what's next? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> are they gonna be able to put out the fire, you think? <laughs> maybe. I yeah. don't know. I don't think the fire is of concern at this point. I mean, it's their only point of concern at this point, but they've got bigger fish to fry than a fire. Uh, big old three-eyed fish. Yep. All right, let's watch this. Should we jump in and <laughs> yeah. see what's next for Chernobyl? Yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Chernobyl. We got four more episodes. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls. Double's pick we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch Chernobyl. to blame. I think there's graphite on the ground. You didn't see graphite. You didn't! Because it's not there. We seal off the city. I'm doing this. I still have such a hard time thinking, like, all of these experts are like, it's not possible. Like, this is not possible. And yet... <laughs> Here we are. It's crazy. It's horrifying. Sorry, folks. Where is everyone? Oh, they refuse to come in. Why? It's Saturday. It's a blind lady from uh, Red Dragon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. R really... Radioactive. I'm 
I'm glad she's finally got glasses she can see now. It's not military, it's uranium decay, U-235. Reactor fuel. Ignalina, maybe uh, 240 kilometers away. No, at four. It's not them. Who's the next closest? It's Chernobyl, but that's not possible. They're 400 kilometers away. Oh, that's too far for eight mini Ronkin. They'd have to be split open. Oh, They are split open. Yeah. Like a satellite or... No one's answering the phone. These are radiation burns. Their clothes are contaminated. Help me! Get it all off. Uh, take it. They just carried it all, yeah. That Their hands are gonna start burning like that firefighters? Yeah. Maybe not that bad, but Yeah, he picked up graphite, so. Right. <laughs> Something is oh sh about those papers. Is it the actual guy that's being truthful or the main guy that was like, that's know. not possible? I don't know. This fireman was holding the equivalent of four million chest x-rays in his hand. Well, there's, a there's no place for alarmist hysteria. It's not alarmist if it's a fact. All I hear is a man I don't know engaging in conjecture in direct contradiction to what has been reported by party officials. <clears throat> Please may I express my concern as as calmly and as respectfully as Professor I Professor Legasso. Horace, I will allow it. Is this not a perfect example of how politicians f*** everything up? <laughs> right? Hey, at least Gorbachev's letting them talk. Oh my gosh. Can we never learn from our mistakes of the past? <laughs> Most of these bullets will not stop firing for 100 years. Some of them... Not for 50,000 years. I want you to go to Chernobyl. You take a look at the reactor, you personally, and you report directly back to me. Wise decision. He won't make it back to you. Forgive me, Comrade General Secretary, but I don't... Do you know how a nuclear reactor works? No. No. Well, then how will you know what you're looking at? Meeting adjourned. This guy's like, great, death sentence. <laughs> If it is what I just described, this will kill me. Slowly and painfully. How does a nuclear reactor work? What? It's a simple question. No, it's not a simple question. <laughs> Tell me how a nuclear reactor works or I'll have one of these soldiers throw you out of the helicopter. In a nuclear plant, we use something called fission. Now. If we put enough uranium atoms close together, the bullets from one atom will eventually Fight strike each other. another atom. Yeah. We surround the fuel rods with graphite to moderate, slow down the neutron flux. Good. I know how a nuclear reactor works. No, I don't need you. I'm gonna throw him out the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're right to you. We know he doesn't, because we see him later, but... <laughs> please take Please. 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 Please take her. They're the ones that were outside when it started passing. Yeah. Right. Can I see him? You want to see him? Go to Moscow. But they're not letting us leave here. Tell them Major Burok allows it. Look, that's graphite on the roof. The whole building's been blown open. The core's exposed. I can't see how you can tell that from here. Get us directly over the building. Boris, don't use my name. Directly over. I know it's over your advice. We'll be dead within a week. Dead. Sir, get us over that building, or I'll have you shot. Yeah. If you fly directly over that core, I promise you by tomorrow morning you'll be begging for that bullet. Saved your life. Yeah. I mean, at some point, you kind of just got to be like, let's go with the conservative situation. <laughs> Assume he's right. Just stay as far away as possible. <laughs> Nuclear energy. What a pleasure. Uh, let me introduce you. I'm here Ilya. about Chernobyl. Such a lovely time. Visit again soon. I will. Thank you.
Somebody's getting their ass reamed later. <laughs> and that if you don't immediately issue iodine tablets and then evacuate the city, hundreds of thousands of people are going to get cancer and God knows how many more will die. Yes, very good. There has been an accident at Chernobyl, but I've been assured there is no problem. I'm telling you that there is. I prefer my opinion to yours. I'm a nuclear physicist. Before you were deputy secretary, you worked in a shoe factory. I feel like I had to get some iodine tablets. Where's the closest plant? <laughs> What truth is this guy going to say? Not the right truth. Not the truth truth. We have begun our own inquiry into the cause of the accident, and I have a list of individuals who we believe are accountable. Here's who you can blame. Not how can we fix it or what we're doing to try and fix it, but here's, here's who to blame. I understand you've been saying dangerous things. Very dangerous things. Apparently our reactor core exploded. Yeah. You've been told that. Why did I see graphite on the roof? Graphite is only found in the core where it's used as a neutron flux moderator. Correct? Farmine, why did the deputy chairman see graphite on the roof? Oh, there, there can't be. Comrade should be in my apologies, but graphite. The gossip is wrong. How shall we prove it? Our high-range dosimeter just arrived. We could cover one of our trucks with lead shielding. Mount the dosimeter on the front. Mount it right here. Right? <laughs> what's what's the levels right here? Where we're if in Minsk, it's setting off alarms. I understand that even with lead shielding, it may not be enough. Then I'll do it myself. Ballsy. So the secretary's on his side now, huh? Yeah, I think he's like, oh, okay, he was really serious about not flying over that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and that decimeter's fried. Yeah, he's like praying that he's wrong, knowing that he's right. Yeah, dude, you're close enough, right? Close enough. It's not through Ron Ken. It's fifteen thousand. With the Atlas. Tell me how to put it out. We'll use helicopters. We'll drop water on it like a no, forest no, no, fire. Please. The heat will instantly vaporize the water. How do we work. put it out? You are dealing with something that has never occurred on this planet before. Can create fission but can't stop it? This will go much easier if you talk to me about the things you do understand and not about the things you do not understand. Not the saving lives part. Golly, how dare he. I think he's taking his iodine pill today. I would say he will be taking it soon, <laughs> if he hasn't already. There's a hotel. Great! <laughs> Moscow. Are you here because of the fire? Anything we should be worried about? Everything. No. Too late anyways. Remind them about the perimeter. Lead one to a pre-flight and maintain minimum 10 meter perimeter. Copy that. 40 meters. 35. 30. I'm just gonna like swing it. Well, there goes that helicopter. Yeah. Got hit by those bullets, those neutron bullets. What a hopeless feeling. But his nephews are flying down. And they always bring cool weather. Oh, which nephews? Simka, who's 14, and little Boris, who's five. Though children can make you even hotter when they're crawling all over you. Maybe I should visit them. Talking in code. <laughs> they're dropping sand and boron on the fire. That's what I would do. Yes, I'm sure it is. 
What would she do? God, hopefully something smarter. Where are you going? Chernobyl. Oh boy. Good, accurate. Lillian isn't a physicist. Well, he's a medical doctor. If he says it's safe, it's safe. Not if they stay here. We're staying here. Yes, we are. And we'll be dead in five years. It's like nobody told me that. The wind has been blowing toward Germany. I'm not letting children play outside. In Frankfurt. And meanwhile here, they're just walking home Yeah, from they're good, though. They're good here. It's blowing over them, probably. Just totally missing them. Heartbreaking. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's the buses to evacuate the city. Which city, though? Oh, their city, okay. They all have masks, and none of them are wearing them. I guess it's not as if they're they would be helping anyways, but It's impressive they could find enough buses. Like fifty people a bus? They need ten thousand buses. No, they need a thousand buses. Fifty thousand people. Uh oh. I thought there was more than that. <laughs> Poor pups. Like, my people are on that bus. Turn around right now or I'll arrest you. If you arrest me, you should take me to the highest possible authority. <laughs> Can we get this lady a radio? <laughs> <laughs> are you right? Of course. He's still processing that he's going to be dead in five years. Yeah. The temperature will eventually increase, Believe it will melt me, down. I'm perfectly aware, but I estimate at least a month before it melts through the lower concrete pad, which gives us time. No, you don't have a month, you have approximately two days. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then there are those fire engines that I saw on the way in. Fire hoses are still connected. They've been gushing water into the structure this whole time. The tanks are full. Great. Let the government take care of it. They fix everything. The uranium will melt the sand, creating a kind of lava, which will begin to melt down through the shield below. You have made lava. I anticipated this. <laughs> <laughs> everything within a 30 kilometer radius will be completely destroyed including the three remaining reactors at Chernobyl. The entirety of the radioactive material in all of the cores will be ejected at force. The release of radiation will be severe and will impact Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, and most of East Germany. Holy f <laughs> Impact means completely uninhabitable for a minimum of 100 years. There are more than 50 million people living in Belarusia and Ukraine. Worst f***ing thing imaginable, 48 to right? 72 hours. 48 to 72 hours. Oh, don't worry. Not under a time crunch or anything. <laughs> She'll started with that. Enough to enter the basement here, find their way through all these ductways, get to the sluice gate valve here, and give us the access we need to pump out the tanks. Of course, we will need your permission. We're asking for your permission to kill three men. Oh, God. <clears throat> All victories inevitably come at a cost. I mean, three men or 50 million people. Yeah. Right? 60, 60 million people. You think they'll tell them they're going on a suicide mission, or they just send them on it? They probably just send them on it. You have to know, though, if you've been working in that plant, you're familiar with it, right? Oh my goodness. 
I got the chills. Like, ugh. The valve will be difficult to operate, so we'll need three men. And of course, any volunteers will be rewarded. A yearly stipend of 400 rubles. That doesn't sound like enough. And we'll take care of your families for the rest of their lives? Why should we do this? For what? 400 rubles? And a promotion. And a promotion. Don't forget that part. You'll do it. Because nobody else can. But if you don't, millions will die. On an ankle. There's Pilov. Baranov. I'm so proud of them. You backups? That's true heroics, right? Mm -hmm. Staring in the face of death, doing what must be done. God, are their suits going to protect them long enough to get the job done? Uh, they didn't even bring their flippers. I was wondering what that thing sticking down in their mask was, but it's a windshield wiper. Is it? Yeah, like, what was even the point of sending them down with that? Like, <laughs> Maybe it's the colder, hotter meter. <laughs> the closer the hotter you get to the pipe you need to turn off, the more it's going to ring. Hot, 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 hot. Now you have to do it blind. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Should have brought some glow sticks. They're gonna end the episode there. Oh my god. Think Ooh. those guys get it anything done? <laughs> well, I'm inclined to say yes because I don't think that sixty million people died, but yeah. I don't know, I guess. I don't think they did. 60 million people aren't going to die. That's the amount of people that have to evacuate and be dispersed from Ukraine. And, right. Don't think that happened either. Uninhabitable. Right. Right. For a hundred years. <sighs> They're still living there, so. Yeah, I guess it hasn't been a hundred years yet. Huh? <laughs> Please remain calm. Episode two in the books. It is. I mean, this whole thing is just. It's kind. Of, it's a hopeless experience. I cannot even imagine yeah. what it was like. Cannot even imagine. Can you imagine being the scientists that are trying to tell all these bureaucrats and politicians that no, this is serious <laughs> here. The whole world could die, yeah. literally. Yeah. Right? Not that scientists are always right, but I mean, boy, you you kind of got to trust them when it comes yeah. to nuclear fission. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do. The science you need to, to make sure you are right or wrong. Right. And hope you're wrong. But just in case you're right, do prepare the safe the things. Yeah, right? prepare for the worst. Yeah. Always prepare for the worst and hope for the best. It's always what you're supposed to do. <sighs> this show's depressing. <laughs> just, I mean, I, it's, it's interesting because it, it parallels, it makes you parallel the feeling of what, I mean, Clearly, they all felt hopeless. Like, what do you even do? And the way that this is presented makes you feel that parallel of, like, mm. what? The you fuck? feel the dread. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's very wonderful. I mean, beautifully done. Yeah. Horrifying. Beautifully done. So what do they do after they drain the water? Do they keep doing the sand and hope that the... I guess it's still going to turn to lava, but I guess it won't... I don't know. And not the good kind of lava. There has got to be a better solution, right? I don't know. Gosh, it's so depressing. Like I said, this is a, something that's never happened on this planet before. So nobody knows what exactly to do to deal with One it. One would think that you would have a backup plan. Now, it, like, it's another, I guess. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel like the responsible thing to do would have been to know how to stop a nuclear fission situation before you started playing with nuclear right, fission. Right, make it happen. <laughs> well, the other thought was, what if you dropped a bomb 
on it. Would it to, the bombs to negate it? Each yeah. other? Could you make a big fission reaction? Like by a nuclear reaction versus a nuclear reaction, yeah, and like it just the, negates it. Use right? the power of fission to defissurize it. I don't know. I don't understand. I'm a cowboy, not a scientist. So. I don't understand science. Yeah. Oof. Terrifying. Yeah. For sure. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> what should people comment on? Yeah. I. Is there anything to comment on? Could you? Could you do it? Put on that suit. Right. Yeah. Could you be that hero? I mean, walk into the water. No. Yeah. I mean, if you're already in that town, you're likely. Yeah. They should have maybe mentioned that. Like, well, you guys are you're, f***ed anyway. You're gonna have health problems in the next five years anyway, yeah. if not sooner. So. I mean, you could probably try and save the world and get it over with quickly. I feel like they could have bartered a little better. Like, yeah. I don't even know how much 400 rubles. Can't be rubles? a lot. Yeah. Rubles. I, like, if, you, if you're going to ask me to give my life today, you better promise me you're going to take care of my family forever, right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's, that's a fair trade-off. And for those that know Russian money, how much was that for a yearly income? Probably not a lot. And doesn't go to those who volunteered because they'll be dead. Right. Right. They probably just figure, oh, yeah, we'll tell them we'll give them 400 rubles. If they promised them that. If, <laughs> we'll give like, you 400 rubles. Did promised. they promise them that and then knowing that they'd be dead, they wouldn't have to pay it? Right. Or did they promise it to their family? Right. right? So let us know the conversion of Ruble 80s to, right. Russian money to like <laughs> today's dollars, right? Yeah. And, uh, Even you know, 80s dollars would yeah, be fine. Right. Even 80s dollars. <laughs> How much right. did it cost in 1980? Yeah. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Chernobyl. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. is over. Will they be looked after? I don't know. You don't know. It's just the one guy wearing underwear. Rest stark naked. There was a guy wearing undies. There's one guy wearing undies. I was looking at every single that one bite. Howdy folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to get radioactive again. Oh, boy. Head on back to Chernobyl and see if they can put out the fire. God, I hope so. I mean, I think they do, but... What happened last episode? Where did we leave off? Uh, we left off with three heroes going down into the pits of the plant yeah. and trying to pump water out of it so that the lava didn't hit the water and turn into a freaking atom bomb or whatever it was. Yeah. Did they? Do you think they'll ever be seen again, or able to get no, their job done? Or they, they will done? die, but they'll get the job done. You think they'll get the job done? I mean, <laughs> they have to, otherwise, okay. like sixty million people die or they something. Keep sending more people in. Right. Well, I guess more I could volunteers. Be. Well, should we jump in and? Yep. Get our radioactive suits on and figure out what's next. Yeah. Let's do it. Go first. Like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're watching Chernobyl. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. we got Twitter and Instagram. If you're interested in the social meds, check us out at You Me The Movies. Yep. On Twitter and Instagram. Check it out. Let's watch Chernobyl. enters these tanks it will instantly superheat causing a significant thermal explosion oh, thermal explosion excuse me not an atom bomb whatever <laughs> i mean how amazing if they could get that done in the pitch black Our hands are going to get a workout. Hand crank flashlights. Good on them for having a backup, though. Where are they supposed to drain all that water into? Don't know. 
Is it possible that the water has already killed them? Yes. Then what? It doesn't work. Yeah, exactly. There are no other options. It has to work. I don't even know why they bring the little meters. It's like, I know, like, it's like clearly you, it's you radioactive. Already know you're, it's already radioactive, right? For dramatic effect. Hopefully they spun the right wheel. Natenko, he's a firefighter from Chernobyl. I have permission. Chernobyl? I'm sorry, no visitors. But Major Major Borov told me, he said... No exceptions. Please. No visitors. You can see him for 30 minutes. Not a minute more. And you cannot touch him in any way. Do you understand? He's radioactive. You're not pregnant, are you? No. Sure. There's no hiding from you, is there? Eh? <laughs> Don't touch him. It's easy. Oh, and there you go. Is she radioactive now? Yep. You'd hug me. Not if you were radioactive, I wouldn't. Really? No. Not trying to go out that way. I'd hug you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you. Oh, how did this happen? Who gave them the idea? You're suggesting I did? Someone did. Someone decided that the evacuation zone should be 30 kilometers when we know here, cesium-137 in the Gomel district, that's 200 kilometers away. It was decided. Based on what? You evacuated them to a place where they're just as yeah. radioactive as yeah. perfect. But the temperature is rising. And uh, there's a spike in zirconium-95. It's from the cladding on the fuel rods. Meaning what? The meltdown has begun. Well, the smoke's going down, though. So, out of the pot into the frying pan, kind of thing. I don't know. You can't be in here. What's happening to him? Get out of here. You can't be in here. It's because she hugged him? Yeah, she did that. I think so. Oh. <laughs> it estimates a 50% chance that the fuel will breach the pad and melt down into the groundwater itself. Yeah. And where does this groundwater go? The Pripyat River. The primary water supply for approximately 50 million people, not to mention crops and livestock, would be... Great. All of the liquid nitrogen in the Soviet Union. All of it. I don't want questions. I want to know when this will be over. If you mean when will Chernobyl be completely safe, the half-life of plutonium-239 is 24,000 years, so perhaps we should just say not within our lifetimes. <laughs> He's like, I give zero <laughs> at this point what you think. <laughs> I'm going to be dead in less than five years, so. What does the radiation do to them, precisely? Ionizing radiation tears the cellular structure apart. The immediate effects subside, the patient appears to be recovering, and the cellular damage begins to manifest. The arteries and veins spill open like sieves, to the point where you can't even administer morphine for the pain, which is unimaginable. Within three days to three weeks, you're dead. Hell of a way to go. I've seen them before. They're spies. They've been here the whole time. Of course they've been here the whole time. But if we're seeing them out in the open now, it's because they want us to know. KGB. Ooh. Yikes. Or American spies as KGB right. spies. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to know. Yeah. I've worked the numbers over and over, presuming the worst possible conditions in an RBMK reactor. 
And I always get the same answer. Which is? It's not possible. Not yet. So they were doing some really f***ed experiments, huh? Go now while they're still alive. Talk to them. Because if we don't find out how this happened, it will happen again. Be careful. Is KGB following her too? Hopefully not yet. What's as big as a house? Burns 20 liters of fuel every hour. Puts out a load of smoke and noise. And cuts an apple into three pieces. Your wife. The Soviet machine made to cut apples into four pieces. Oh. <laughs> Thought it was like a your mama joke. Oh. It wasn't. No. It was a Soviet joke. I need all 100 men to gather their equipment and get on the trucks. To where? That's classified. Come on, then. Start shooting. You haven't got enough bullets for all of us. Kill as many as you can. Whoever's left, they'll beat the living piss out of each of you. You can't talk to us like that. Shut the f*** up. <laughs> the reactor fuel is going to sink into the ground and poison the water from Kiev to the Black Sea. All of it. They want you to stop that from happening. How are we supposed to do that? A giant filter? Coal filter? They don't make liquid nitrogen, do they? And there's one thing I know, though. You're not supposed to mess with coal miners, no matter what country they're from. Yeah, badasses. Yeah, they're tough dudes. <laughs> <laughs> they're all going to pat him on the back. <laughs> We're in that beautiful suit. <laughs> That's there. All right, but f you too. <laughs> now you look like the minister of coal. It's got to be like a rite of passage, right? Yeah, I think he was in that day period where it looked like he was. Oh, he might better. be all right. Oh boy! I told you not to touch him. It's not safe. Don't they touch you? It's safe for them, it's safe for me. It's stylish. It's like a weekend at Bernie's. I can see the red square. And the Kremlin, Spaskia Tower, Mausoleum. I told you. I told you I'd show you Moscow, didn't I? Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, she made it. Is she undercover or she actually got permission to be there? I'm guessing undercover. Here come the coal miners. put in his pocket <laughs> we need to install a liquid nitrogen heat exchanger underneath this concrete pad oh you gotta dig under it and what's above the pad the core of the nuclear reactor which is melting down you can't use any heavy machinery it has to be done by hand we're gonna need more men how deep do you want this tunnel six meters twelve twelve why for your protection. The entrance to the tunnel won't be 12 meters below ground. No. I'm not 12 meters below ground, no. <laughs> Touche. No. We're not. So six is probably good then. <laughs> if these worked, you'd be wearing them. Yeah. Too much common sense. They're all like that. Yeah, no bullshit, right? Yeah. Tell me what you need. Don't I be mean, an idiot about it. they're all coal miners, so they're like, we're probably getting the black gun lung eventually, so. What's a little radiation sickness on top of it, huh? All right. Just digging frickin' tunnels. Oh, man. Can you imagine? 
Oh, hats off to all the miners out there. Holy crap. Obviously, they're probably not doing it with shovels much anymore, but either way. Good golly. We need friends. For what purpose? What do you mean for what purpose? To dig your tunnel, that's why. Who's talking to you? Oh, comrades. <laughs> Fans will put dust in the air. The dust will go in your lungs. I've been breathing dust in my lungs for 20 years. Yeah, I was going to say, uh... I'm sorry. For your own good. No fans. Yeah, like they aren't already getting dust in their lungs. Yeah. What do you think they're breathing when it is the air is just dust? With or without fans? Oh, boy. Senior engineer. How old are you? I'm 25. He's looking rough. Yeah. I don't want him to die alone. Stay on the other side of the plastic. We will have you removed by security. Got any of those lead blankets they have at the dentist, too, you can give her? Might help a little bit. Okay, rule breaker. I'm gonna have a baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. The miners are making incredible progress. They say the whole job will be finished in four weeks. Four weeks? I believe that. Let's guy him down. It is the miners. <laughs> Pokemon back. You mean the PP? It's too for clothes, right? They're like, fine, you don't give us fans, we we work naked. I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> Good for them. Although, I would be concerned about pinching some things in places. Whacking yourself with a shovel accidentally? <laughs> Prosthetics, you think? Huh. Maybe. You wouldn't give us fans. It's too hot for clothes. So we're digging the old way. This is where our fathers might. We're still wearing the f***ing hats. <laughs> You're not as protected. No. Can you tell me that make a difference? A little bit. <laughs> Just a little <laughs> tiny bit. When this is over, will they be looked after? I don't know. You don't know? Just the one guy wearing underwear. Rest stark naked. There was a guy wearing undies. There's one guy wearing undies. I was looking at every single that one bite. <laughs> How can you not? It's like boobies, right? I didn't even know it was a guy with underwear. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I've been in locker room showers where you you, yeah. you don't look. <laughs> this is TV, not the locker room. I reported the increase to Akimo, and he pressed the button. Learn it. That's. That's not possible. And that's when it exploded. What, did he, what button did he push? I pressed it before the explosion. Before. What button did he push? Except push the big red button says do not push on it. Apparently. You let her in that room, inside the plastic, touching him. Did you know she's pregnant? It's not true. What have you done? What kind of a place is this? Where is her protection? People are going to hear. Do you understand? Everyone is going to hear. Uh-oh. What is everyone going to hear? I'm with the official Chernobyl Commission. What is everyone going to hear? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> I'll see you now. Is that a Van Gogh? 
I don't know, it was super depressing. In the immediate area surrounding Chernobyl, uh, every rock, every tree has absorbed a dangerous amount of radionuclides, which will be carried by the wind and the rain if left exposed. So we will have to raise entire forests. We will have to rip up the top layer of earth and bury it under itself, approximately 100 square kilometers. <laughs> My associate was was arrested last night. Oh? I mean no disrespect, but I was wondering if you could tell me why. I'm sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> so you will be accountable for her? Then it's done. Her name? I know who she is. Good day, Professor. Oh, he's already been briefed on her. Like. <laughs> but didn't he just say he didn't? Uh, no, he never said that he didn't know her. Oh. That went surprisingly well. <laughs> Came off like a naive idiot. Naive idiots are not a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the fuel will actually melt through the concrete pad? I don't know. 40% chance, maybe. Well, I said 50. <laughs> By the way, the numbers mean the same thing, maybe. <laughs> 60% of the time, your numbers are wrong anyways. Mm. The problem has been designed and you will stop at nothing until you find an answer. Because that is who you are. A lunatic, then. A scientist. Yeah, most scientists are kind of weird. I came off pressed AZ-5. And then the reactor exploded. They both agreed they were adamant. I'll go back to the hospital and re-interview Akimov and Tottenov. If they're still awake. Yeah. They're still alive. They're not. Oh. So do they think it was, like, somebody intentionally sabotaged? No. I think it was that one guy that was saying, that's not possible, who actually did something wrong, and he's not fessing up to it. I think that's the guy they're saying that pushed the button, and then it blew up. Hmm. Yeah, but if the button was to shut it down and the button caused the explosion, then I don't know how nuclear reactors work, I guess. Me neither. What are these guys doing? They're being drafted to go help with the... Oh, the building the walls yeah, around it? And tearing the trees out and yeah. turning the dirt. Burying them in lead coffins. Yeah. Mass grave sort of situation, do you think? Yeah. I'm surprised they had enough lead coffins. A lot of concrete. Yeah. Brutal. Well, all right, the fire is out. They drained all the water, and the tunnel's going well. Mm -hmm. right? So do you think we're going to find out what caused the explosion? God, I hope so. So we can prevent it from happening ever again. Right. Yeah. Knowledge that all nuclear plants need to know about yep. kind of thing. Yeah, what's going on in your head after that one? It's just this horrifyingly sad terrifying story yeah yeah just the whole like even not just the local implications of it but like the global yeah. implications it could have caused and that one chief engineer or senior engineer is 25 years old yeah so they had a bunch of inexperienced fresh out of school engineers probably working there yeah well, most something. of those guys were young in the first opening scene except for like the, the head guy telling them what to do right right so hmm of course, with new technology, it's kind of hard to not have young people doing it, right? I guess. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to visit Chernobyl? No. You know, it's. I think it's open to the public today. Yeah, I think you're right. And God, that sounds like a horrible idea, <laughs> right? Yeah. Being that the half-life is like 24,000 years or something mm -hmm. or whatever he said earlier, right? I'm wondering just how much you're allowed to do. In the 
town of Chernobyl. I think I'll keep my distance. Yeah. You don't want to go on vacation there? Mm. No? Mm. Probably not. Oh, this makes me think of the three-eyed fish in The Simpsons, right? There's like three-eyed fish in the rivers around there now. Oh. Right? So you would you would stay by my side like the wife until? No. No? I, f- I had a baby? Absolutely not. Okay. It's more than just me I have to worry about. Well, if you weren't. If it was just me, I might risk cancer. Just to make sure I didn't die alone. Right. I mean, I'd probably stay behind the plastic sheet. <laughs> right? Yeah. What about you? Would you stay by your loved one's side? Or would you be like, eh, whatever? Would you want me to stay by your side knowing that? I'd probably tell you to leave. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I'm not going to, like, <laughs> get the hell away from go me. Go against your last wishes yeah. by. <laughs> By saying, screw you. I'm not that selfish. I'd be like, yeah, just get it. leave me alone. Yeah, please go. Yeah. Please go. Well, anything else people should comment on? Just like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for yep. another episode of Chernobyl. Yep. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. Follow the commentaries or access to polls that helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. That just like give them all the vodka they want. It's just bottled water because they can't oh. drink anything around that from there. Maybe vodka too. <laughs>Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV, and it's time to get radioactive again. No oh, jeans. Heading on back to Chernobyl. And uh, hopefully the fire's out, the water's getting drained, and we're digging a tunnel now. What's going on? You just said what's going on. Oh. Something else is going on, though. They're doing interviews at the hospital, trying to interview the witnesses at the hospital before they die. Yeah. Which is proving to be trickier. Trying to figure out what happened. Yeah. Why did it explode? Mm Mm-hmm. So, they pushed a button and boom. Yep. Which wasn't supposed to happen. Nope. Also, they're drafting a bunch of people to... Oh, clean up. Yeah. Yeah. Wipe out the forest, basically. Recovery. Oof. 100 square kilometers or something like that. Yeah, not even telling them what's going on, just... Yeah. Recruiting them and putting them to work. Yeah. So, should we find out what's next? See what they're doing to clean up this mess? Yep, gotta watch it. Let's do. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Chernobyl the last two episodes. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full in the commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch Chernobyl. <laughs> Couldn't remember what I was supposed to do. Do you know how old I am? I don't know. Old. I'm 82. I've lived here my whole life. Right here, that house, this place. What do I care about safe? It's not a good way to go, but... They told the rest of us to leave. No. Then the Great War. German boys, Russian boys. But I stayed and I'm still here. After all that I have seen. And she's seen some sh- So I should leave now because of something I cannot see at all. No. Good day. <laughs> Think that milk was radioactive? I'm sure. The other problem is she's not there to milk that cow. That cow's udders will blow up. They will explode. Maybe not literally, but pretty close. This is your last warning. She's... You're gonna kill... Oh, he's gonna kill her. Oh, okay. Well, at least he didn't kill her, I guess. They also have orders to kill all the animals in the area, too, so... Yeah.
she she was prepared to take that bullet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like the people don't leave their homes when a volcano is erupting around them, you know, like yeah. going down with your shit. It's noble. If that's how you want to go. Ukrainian SSR four months after the explosion. What does that look for? Is it the water or the bike? Somebody ride their bike from Chernobyl to there to there. I'm sure something like metal probably keeps radiation for a lot longer than something like plants, right? Plants will cycle it out of their system. I don't know. I would assume the half life is the same regardless of what it is on. Yeah, I mean radiation's not like a virus that doesn't like die. Mm -hmm. it, it's just there until the atoms half-life them their yeah. own self away the debris on the roof is graphite from the core itself until we can push it off the roof back into the reactor it'll kill anyone who gets near it under no circumstances can men go up there robots only and what about this large section here Marsha. Twelve thousand rodkin that amount of gamma radiation penetrates everything it would be fair to say that that piece of roof is the most dangerous place on Earth. Awesome. <laughs> Ask for alien intervention, right? Like, oh my gosh. Also, who did they have to send in to get those measurements? Oy. Is that just like give them all the vodka they want? It's just bottled water because they can't oh. drink anything around that from there. Maybe vodka too. <laughs> Those guys, they dig up the ground. Those guys, they cut down trees. Those guys, they evacuate people. What about them? I don't know them. F them. He's with me. You understand? Nobody f with them. It's like prison? No, no, you can wait until the radiation gives you a f Yes, now. Lead scraps. Over your clothes. Fing. Uh, you did not specify. I'm working for the Central Committee. Comrade? I'm the minister of books. What? The minister of books. Hmm? Perhaps. She can have that one. Oh, geez. Thank you, comrade. The other one must be outdated. They must be outdated. The, the other one must be outdated. Must be. The other That's why she's four allowed to on look that at list. It. Whatever. She, I don't even know what she's researching. Something. Something the government doesn't want her to. Brave cameraman. Acceptable. Running on board diagnostics. Tell me when we're ready to move it. To think that's what we put on the moon. I'm not that one. <laughs> I know not that one. <laughs> that one's still up there. <laughs> well, hey, what's that? It's mine. <laughs> Remember that time he wanted to throw him out of a helicopter? Yeah. To think they're friends now. <laughs> Nervous. I see your condition has improved, Comrade Dietlov. No, leave. That guy didn't die. No, he's good. It was the only good decision they made, incompetent morons. Can you confirm that the reactor exploded after they attempted to shut it down? 
How do I even know it exploded, huh? <laughs> uh, you were there. Big boom. Are oh, you think the right question will get you the truth? There is no truth. Ask the bosses whatever you want, you'll get the lie. And I will get the bullet. Why is he being so obstinate? Yeah, he's oodles of help still, huh? He probably thinks he can feign ignorance so he doesn't die. Get, you know, punished. Nice Mosins. <laughs> don't point this gun at me. That's easy, right? You can point it at this piece of <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> Never me. <laughs> don't let them suffer. Or I'll kill you. Understand? I mean it. I've killed a lot of people. He likes animals more than them, is that? <laughs> I couldn't do that. No? I love dogs too much. Yeah, I definitely would not ever want to have to do that. Let them suffer. Sorry. Sorry. You're dragging that to the truck. How many dogs do you think are in that town? A lot. I thought, well, that's it, Bacho. You put a bullet in someone. You're not you anymore. You'll never be you again. But then you wake up the next morning and you're still you. And you realize that was you all along. You just didn't know. We've evolved so much as creatures that we forgot that we were the number one killer in the world for the last thousands of years. Mm. Don't realize that until you have to kill something. I've been working on that for a month or a couple of weeks. These guys are just playing with RC cars all day long. <laughs> It'd be kind of a fun job. Joker. Is it ready? It's ready. How do you get it on top of the roof? Without a very long cable with the helicopter. Oh, oh. <laughs> touche. <laughs> I thought the smoke clouds there with radiation isn't too high. I also wonder what kind of like knots they used so that those ropes untied themselves as soon as they landed, right? Slip knots. Forward one meter, reverse one meter. Forward one. Germans. Reverse one. Oh. It's not the signal, it's the vehicle. It's dead. Radiation is too strong for it. Of course I know they're listening! I want them to hear! I want them to hear it all! You know what we're doing here? Tell those idiots what they have done! Tell them! Don't tell them! Please stop! Don't tell them! 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 I mean, is it their fault? They didn't probably know it would be able to withstand radiation at that well, level. Yeah. I mean, who could know that? They told the Germans that the highest detected level of radiation was 2,000 Rontgen. They gave them the propaganda number. That robot was never going to work. You need a new phone. Guy 
He's like, that's the sixth one this week. <laughs> They're going to have to volunteer somebody to do it. No, I mean, I don't even think they'll live long enough to be able to work on the roof to push it off. At least not the most active one. What if we shoot the graphite into the hole? We've got high-caliber bullets, exploding bullets. They wouldn't just ricochet, they'd push. <laughs> you want to shoot exploding bullets at an exposed nuclear reactor? Well, no. Ah. <laughs> Let's go light that roof back on fire. It was so easy to put out the first time. Big fans? Blow Big it? fans. <laughs> they wouldn't give the miners fans. Bio robots. What was that? <clears throat> we use bio robots. Ben. Yeah. He went from the one trying to save everybody's lives to like, well, there's only one way to mitigate the losses now, and that's to sacrifice more. Yeah. It's gotten easier for him. Mm-hmm. Puppies. Hear me. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Just go outside. <laughs> that free vodka comes in handy. Big was that litter. Holy. Comrade soldiers, the Soviet people have had enough of this accident. They want us to clean it up, and we have entrusted you with this serious task. Because of the nature of the working area, you will each have no more than 90 seconds to solve this problem. Watch your comrades. Moving fast, from this opening, then turning to the left, and entering the workspace here. Take care not to stumble. There's a hole in the roof. Take care not to fall. You will need to move quickly, and you will need to move carefully. Oh my goodness. How much does that armor protect them? Not much. I feel like it's all for show. If it's... He's the stopwatch guy. Yeah. Bangs on the pole every 90 seconds. Yeah, I mean, just start anywhere, right? Comrade soldier, you're done. How much is that going to hurt him? A little slice on his boot. He's out there for another 15 seconds longer than he was supposed to be, too. What did he say earlier? After three minutes, death within death, death within three months or something. Dead within three months. <laughs> She's like, "Geez, lady." Did she have her baby. What are they asking you to do? Tell the world what happened. Well, then you'd better know what happened. I've constructed a timeline 
minute by minute. Do you think they cleared that roof? Or are they still working on it? Probably still working on it. Toptonov was telling the truth. They shut the reactor down, and then it exploded. I think this article may have the answer. But two pages have been removed. He wrote it. I had no idea it could cause an explosion. None of us knew. None of you knew what? The floor will not lead to an explosion unless the operators have pushed the reactor to the edge of disaster. So it is their fault? Yes. But not only their fault. No. Is that what you're going to say in Vienna? You can't possibly be that naive. The baby lived for four hours. They said the radiation would have killed the mother, but the baby absorbed it instead. Her baby. We live in a country where children have to die to save their mothers. To hell with your deal. Wow. Oh. Biology is crazy. Yeah. I'm surprised the fetus didn't. That it went to term, right? Yeah. I mean, they got the roofs cleaned off then? Yeah, it took them. What, from Two September months? to December? Three months. Ugh. The show. Heavy. Yeah. That was a heavy episode. Yeah. All the dogs and cats and babies and puppies. Yeah. Trying to f tell the world the truth so they can. I mean, I'm sure there's not just those reactors in the Soviet Union back then. It was probably all over the world mm. with similar issues with the rods, right? I'm sure, yeah. So, yeah. So, do you think they're going to. Well, obviously, that one guy goes public with his tapes. Right. Eventually, but. Don't what know. They're going to say in Vienna next. Don't know. Yeah. What's on your mind after that? It was just heavy. It was just heavy. The mm -hmm. emotional impacts after mm -hmm. the initial incident you know yeah, that's what the show's doing a good job showing is it's not just the initial event right it's, it's not just the event it's the recovery it's everything that this event affected mm -hmm. long-term months impacts. and years after it happened right yeah so haunting that's a very good word for and it and yeah. beautiful at the same time like just the app like the way it creates this haunting atmosphere you feel like you're there. Yeah, right? yeah. And it looks familiar, too. Living in a rural area, going through all those rural towns and stuff. Mm. Just the the backdrop of it all. It feels like, I don't know. I could be home. Yeah. We got one episode left. Yep. What are they going to wrap it up with, you think? I imagine the Vienna, I don't know. Yeah. What else do they have to uh, wrap up other than that? Like 40 years of recovery. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since the what, 86, we're in 86 right now. So yeah, it's been almost 35 years. Yeah. So yeah. Hmm. Well, what should people comment on? Like what at loss with this show. What job on the cleanup crew would you prefer to have? <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> if you had to have one of those jobs as 750,000 men, they drafted to do like chopping down trees just scanning the area for radiation and mm -hmm. getting rid of the debris or animal control Ugh. what could you handle all right let us know in the comments yeah like comment subscribe while you're down there thanks for hanging out we'll yeah. finish this one up yeah, one more episode after this so check out our patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos full length commentaries or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next links down below check it out until next time, have a good one. Bye. If you weren't in the room, then where were you? 
the toilet. Sure you were. Perfect place for an app. Howdy, folks. We're going back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for a finale. The final episode of Chernobyl. How's this going to... What are we going to learn in this episode? I mean, I'm learning so much yeah. throughout this limited series. So I'm sure I will just learn a lot more. What's the best lesson you've learned so far? That uh, history books did not teach me about the 1980s incidents, I don't think. Yeah. Not very well. International incidents. Right. Yeah. Well, do you think we'll learn the truth or the world will learn the truth in this hour? I think they probably make the deal with the KGB. I don't know. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and find out? Yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for a little final episode of Chernobyl. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. We're wrapping up a show tonight, so we got to pick a new show. So help us out. Join our Patreon. Also, we've got social media, so if you're interested in Twitter or Instagram, you can follow us at you, me, the Movies on both Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Let's watch the finale of Chernobyl. Let's do it. Is this appropriate? Mm, kind of looks like it, doesn't it? would be before maybe that guy was one of the guys one of the engineers the day day shift engineers yeah Yeah. he just has like a villainous look to him doesn't he he just looks like an ass yeah (laughs) yes I think promotion's very likely who knows, maybe Moscow. Naturally, they'll put me in charge once he's gone, and then I'll need someone to take my own job. I don't think anybody's getting a promotion. Going for no. So do we have to scrap it or what? No, I don't think so. Now, if we need to wait 10 hours, we wait. It's safe. We'll maintain at 1600. I'll go home, get some sleep, come back tonight. We'll proceed then. I'll personally supervise the test. And it will be completed. Trying to redecorate the room already? Is that what he's trying to do? Yeah, put my desk right here. That'd be nice, yeah. Trying to do this test for three years and they haven't successfully completed it? What kind of test? Kind of ruins a whole country's yeah. life. Okay, so a year later now. (laughs) Could you be more obviously KGB? (laughs) Turns out you're quite good at this. At what? Lying. Statecraft, Rigasov. Statecraft. (sighs) Satisfied that Chernobyl was solely the result of operator error, which it essentially was. We have you to thank for that, and we intend to our highest honor. They haven't even given it to me. <laughs> yeah, I like you remember you're dying anyways, so. I oh, threw that in the trash. I know. I'm going to clog your sink. <laughs> and you think that these scientists handpicked to witness a show trial? will somehow be stirred into action by me. Yes. Why? Because you're Valery Legasov. I'd like to think that if I spoke out, it would be enough. But I know how the world works. They will shoot me. Komyuk. You are dying anyways. Isn't that enough? No, I'm sorry, but it is not. You've already given your life. Might as well tell the truth, right? Yeah. Think he does? Oh, I guess he does eventually with the tapes. Tapes, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happens with those tapes, but are those all the abandoned cars that 
are now radiated. Probably. So they're having the trial in Chernobyl? I guess. That seems like a horrible idea. The state calls witnesses Comrade Khamyuk of the Belarusian Nuclear Institute, Comrade Legasov of the Kachatov Institute of Atomic Energy, and Comrade Boris Yevdokimovich Sherbina. That was dry. Welcome to communism. I love dioramas. Me too. It began with, of all things, a safety test. Why was there need for a safety test at all? It went into operation on December 20th, 1983. Took three years to do their safety test. The turbine which had been spinning would take some time to slow down and stop. What if you could take the electricity it was still generating and transfer it to the pumps? What if the dying turbine could keep the pumps working long enough to bridge the 60 second gap until the generators came on? Need batteries. And the first time they tried, they failed. The second time they tried, they failed. The third time they tried, they failed. The fourth time they tried was April 26, 1986. Clearly there were issues. I mean, even if the other thing caused the explosion, it sounds like they still would have caused their own meltdown. Yeah. Or could have caused their own meltdown. 1,600, good. Uh, is it too much to ask that you all know what you're doing? Well, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Or you can just do what I tell you. Thing, even you, stupid as you are, can manage that. Boy, does he have charisma. Yeah. Great leader. I've never done this with the power so low before. It's okay, I'm with you. Reducing power to 700. What's he got there? I don't know. If you can't understand how a stalled nuclear reactor could lead to an explosion, I don't blame you. After all, you don't work in the control room of a nuclear power plant. As it turned out, the men who did didn't understand it either. Kirschenbaum, come get me when these old women are ready. Jesus. Whoa, 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 slow. I, I didn't move any rods there. Oh, sh LAC disabled, global control activated. What did you do? I, I, I did what you said, I switched. Look at it! I don't understand it. Amateurs, you stored the reactor. I have to shut down my 24 hours. No, we're doing the test tonight. Raise power to 700. Well, we can't raise the power from here. The rules. Don't talk to me about rules. Hey, Even if the two of you disagree, then you don't have to work here. And you won't. As you won't work anywhere ever again. I'll see to it. I think you know I will see to it. Raise the power. So this guy's completely to blame. I wasn't even there. What? I wasn't in the room when they raised the power. If you weren't in the room, then where were you? The toilet. Sure you were. Perfect place for now. <laughs> no, Comrade D, I'd love if you were in the room. You ordered them to raise the power. This is a fact. How did Dad love give it away with living through a year, right? I mean, I'm sure that they villainized his him um, more, more than, than what he actually was, but he's a f***ing ass. <laughs> Any one of them could have done what I did. But you, everything we asked for, everything we needed, men, material, lunar rovers. <laughs> of all the ministers and all the deputies, 
They mistakenly sent the one good man. For God's sakes, boys. You were the one who mattered most. That was a nice moment between them. Yeah, it was. What kind of crazy looking butterfly is that going to turn into? Probably moth. Mothra. If that's all we have, that's all we have. But, but the test requires 700. Steliachuk, let's get ready. Switch on pump four. No, wait a Ted, second. It's Ted. enough. I know what I'm doing. Steliachuk. If he knew he was doing this test, would have been completed already, right? 1.23 and 35 seconds. We, we, we have a power surge, Sasha. What did you do? 1.23 and 40 seconds. You press AZ-5, all of the control rods insert at once, and the reaction is stopped dead. But... Is he going to tell the truth? I still have more evidence to give. It's not necessary. Your testimony is concluded. The tips are made of graphite, which accelerates reactivity. Why? We are the only nation that builds water-cooled graphite-moderated reactors with a positive void coefficient. It's cheaper. Oh, so this is only a Soviet thing. The control rod and fuel channel caps, which each weigh 350 kilograms, are jumping up and down. He runs to warn the control room, but there's nothing he can do to stop what is coming. We do not know how high the power went. We only know the final reading. Reactor 4, designed to operate at 3,200 megawatts, went beyond 33,000. One twenty-three forty-five explosion. The chain of disaster is now complete. And there goes all the graphite. Yeah. I've already trod on dangerous ground. We're on dangerous ground right now because of our secrets and our lies. That is how. An RBMK reactor core explodes. Lies. He did it. Oh, I think I'm surprised he makes it back to his house. Surprised he's the one that kills himself? <laughs> Not somebody else? No, he didn't want to give them the... the satisfaction. Right. Oh, gosh. Just a room. Exactly the place you want to be. <laughs> Far away from earshot of anything. With a drain in the middle of the floor for easy cleanup. Oh boy. No friends. No one will talk to you. No one will listen to you. Lesser men will receive credit for the things you have done. Your legacy is now their legacy. You will live long enough to see that. He just cancelled him. <laughs> Basically, right? Yeah. If I refuse, why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Oh, that's perfect. They should put that on our money. <laughs> Time to start a podcast. It's sad he never gets to see his friends again. But imagine the respect they have for him. Yeah. Knowing what he's sacrificed. And this, at last, is the gift of Chernobyl. Where I once would fear the cost of truth, now I only ask, what is the cost of lies? Yeah. 
Oh, he did it on the anniversary. Well, like three or four years later. <laughs> it's the real one. Has just a minion, right? Oh my. 582? 600? Wow. Aww. Oh, wow. They're wearing clothes in that video. Wow. Oh, wow. Guess those suits worked. <laughs> well, that's convenient. Jeez. Kind of seems like it. I'd like to see a video on how that was created. No kidding. I go with the higher number. Holy sh! That music there at the end. Yeah. Oh, golly! Those deep, deep bass mm -hmm. voices, just haunting. All right, so that series won an Emmy for Outstanding Limited Series the year it came out. I am absolutely see why. Yeah. Also, best writing, haunting, beautiful, informative, and uh, some pretty deep messages there. Mm -hmm. Some great uh, lines and stuff about like what's the cost of lies. Yeah. What are you thinking? I mean, heartbreaking, really. It's yeah. all kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. So the 31 deaths must be what the firefighters and the initial yeah. people in the control room. Must have been, yeah. Is all they counted? Probably. It's hard for the Soviets to update that number since they dissolved in 1991 too. So that government. Oh yeah, that's what stopped them. Soviet probably. officials are no longer officials, right? That's probably what stopped <laughs> them from keeping count in 1987, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. So a couple thousand to almost 100,000 is the estimated, Yeah. You know, Affected. Affected deaths. I almost feel like I, I'd go with the higher one just to. I mean, it's impossible. It's still affecting lives to, to this day. attribute cancer to that specifically, I'm sure, which yeah. is why they don't count them. Mm -hmm. But boy, those rates are scary. I'm still amazed that those three divers. Yeah, they're the Two of them are still alive. And uh, apparently the third one probably just maybe died of natural causes. A Could be years later, but not like from like you expect them to die within months, or yeah, weeks, right? Didn't think those guys were going to get out of there alive, and they ended up living the longest out of most of the people that were in that zone that early, yeah. Right? Huh. All right. What else is on your mind? Anything else? I just thanks for everybody for recommending it, right? Because mm -hmm. it was awesome. Yeah, I had started this. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, and I watched it like in the background. I don't think I actually ever finished it. I don't remember these last two episodes of that. Mm. The last two episodes. I remember the Naked Miners, and I think I don't remember anything after that. So maybe I only watched the first three episodes, but I didn't watch it in detail. So I've definitely caught a bunch of new, felt it more this time. I was watching it while watching a newborn back when it came out. It so. definitely has a lot of like those, the political undertones, of mm. course, which you would expect from such a 
a time. Yeah, I mean the the whole impact of the Cold War and like the rivalry between the Soviet Union and the U.S. and what it caused. I mean, a lot of that had cause and effect for what happened at Chernobyl, and like Gorbachev said that Chernobyl essentially led to the end of the Soviet Union because it was mm-hmm. such a huge disaster, right? So it's interesting how that political landscape causes something like this. Yeah. Not a a war. Well, what's what happens when you don't yeah. tell the truth, like he said, mm. when you don't tell the whole truth to what the people is, who need to know it, especially. What is the cost of lies? Yeah. Yeah. Deep, deep thoughts. Deep shit. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on? Who is your favorite character in the Chernobyl series? There you go. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Chernobyl. It was a good one. Yep. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.